Well, that's me, Tristan, a YouTuber who wants to learn how to experiment with the controls of a bobsleigh pushed by my pastry chef buddy on an Olympic track, preparing to exceed 100 kilometers per hour. What's going on here is very serious. To understand a little more about how we ended up in a situation that could have cost us our lives, let's go back a little bit further. It all started when I got the idea to ride behind a professional bobsleigh pilot to see what the sport was really like. The only image of it that I had was this. And this. Yeah. So we got on board as passengers, and the rest is up to you. Oh, good luck, you guys. Thank you. Apparently, we're going to eat four grams and do 120 kilometers per hour. Wow! I tried to look at the orders, but after a while, I couldn't see them. Wow! <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here! Hectic! <laughs> All good? Yes! Wow! You feel like an astronaut. You don't notice it on camera. It's not the 120 kilometers an hour that shocks you. It's the G's. They nail you to the seat. As the G's increase, our weight increases. Uh, tomorrow, bro. You better. Ross the Rocket. They actually sent me. This is Bob, man! Cool, man! Look, he's not walking straight yes. either. <laughs> I say it every time I make a video, and I swear it just gets worse and worse. Neither wing walking, nor parachuting, nor base jumping puts that much G in your face. Is it humane to put yourself under that much pressure? You cannot do you that. You can't. It, Actually, it's impossible. Wind. It's not the wind. It's the centrifugal force that nails you. It's our turn to drive this tomorrow. Look at us. For me, My head hurts. Space Mountain was the maximum. There's a moment you see me burst with laughing. I'm shouting, but I'm scared and thinking, ah! What kind of a sport is this? I heard We're you. Dying. No, you're possessed. No, 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 no. You weirdo. Inevitably, <laughs> like I always you're do, so weird. I say I had to make PMP out of it. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are the next morning, ready to drop everything and become professional bobsledders. Welcome to Practice Makes Perfect. Before we get to the heart of the matter, I'd like to thank Babbel for sponsoring this video. It's simply an app that lets you practice makes perfect in any of the 14 languages they offer you to learn with the aim of maximizing your progress and becoming bilingual as quickly as possible. I've always found it ridiculous that they try to make us learn languages in middle school. I remember taking a test in English class where we were graded on the conjunction of 50 irregular verbs. Bro! <laughs> Well, lucky for you, those days are over. Thank you, Babel, for helping us change the way that we all learn. Because let's face it, it was really heavy and not optimal. One stylish thing about Babel is the fact that on a single application, you may have the whole Babel ecosystem, whether it's classic courses, podcasts, magazine articles, or even games that teach you without even realizing it. As you know from watching PMPs, it's when you manage to have fun learning something that you retain it more. So I'm 100% behind this learning method. As you can see, there are thousands of pieces of content in the Babel ecosystem. But all this content is regularly updated by real native speakers, not buddies who improvise to speak English because they listen to a bit too much Chris Brown as teenagers. <clears throat> that is up my alley. Do click on the first link in the description and enjoy the 50% discount on your lifetime subscription. On top of that, you get free live online lessons in the app when you subscribe. Anyway, thanks again to Babbel for supporting the channel. Now we can tackle this PMP. Woo! Hey guys. Hello. Nice to meet you. Ah, pleased to meet How you. How are things? Yes, impeccable. How's it going there? So we find ourselves in the Olympic bobsleigh skeleton and luge track accompanied by former Olympic competitor now converted to a bobsleigh coach. Because the only bobsleigh experience we have is the one we had last night. That's insane! That's why we asked a few not so pertinent questions. Wait, man. You asked too many questions. He can't even stand up. Just look What's at it. What's the co-pilot for? The co-pilot? Careful. There's a bend. <laughs> you have an airbag? <laughs> That's all. It's for brakes. Okay. So now we're entering... Alibaba's cave look. Oh yes, wow. It's crazy because I don't have references. Can you just tell us what bobsledding is? It's a big machine with four skates with two or four people inside that you push at the start on which you slide down a bobsled track. We're lucky enough to have one here at La Plina. What do you think our goal is as bobsleigh super beginners? What can we expect out there? You're going to experience a moment that's already a little unusual and you're going to get some thrills. In other words, you're going to get a feel for what it's like to fly a G, a little of what astronauts or even fighter pilots do. You'll experience centrifugal force at first hand. In terms of G, do you have an idea? Yes, I've got an idea. I'll well, tell you later. Will that be closer to a sensation <laughs> or a feeling? My last feeling where I got a bit smashed with Gs, we had a drift, but it's okay. It must be one G. In heavy acceleration, we had wing walk 4G, I think. Yes. That's my maximum in my life. I was space mount. 4G or more? More. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Shit! I look just like this thanks to the 4G. So 
Now, what is the top speed? Between 95 and 110 kilometers per hour. All right. Okay. In that? We don't know what lies ahead, but we'll find out together. So these are the bobsleighs of four. Management, this is the direction. Yes. Woo! It's just like Santa's reindeer. Okay. Oh, wow. We have to stand up from the bar. Now that we know what a four-man bobsled is, let's get acquainted with our ride for the day, the two-man bobsled. You're in the right position because you're going over the hull without sticking out too far. Hold the handles with your hands. You're not bad. Look at the back's position. <laughs> okay, we are tight. <laughs> You'll look even better there. One thing you guys don't know about Dilu is that he loves to be stuck to me. Whenever we got the opportunity to take single beds, he prefers to take the double. Oh yes, back to work. Oh dear. Dylan, put your feet there Can and we make lean your body videos? right back. You'll need I to move know, your body I didn't sign up for this. But I'm too far away and from you. I thought I was going to skiing. stick your head over here. Like this? <laughs> yes, like that. <laughs> what do I care? <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't take pleasure. I'm like that. That's oh, right. Yeah. Not only does Dylan push, he also brakes. Yes, uh, how do I brake? See the brakes? They're there. You'll pull with both hands. If it falls, you'll feel it. You'll see the bobbing. You'll feel it. Do you get it? Then it'll go to the side. Oh no! This will be fun. If you fall, you'll still finish, regardless. The idea is to try and make yourself as small as possible. Tuck my head. What a plus. And you? Wow, a convertible. A convertible. <laughs> I've got the best seat in the house. You, I Dylan, really are do. going to improve your back flexibility like this. I can't. Spread. That's it. Oh shit. Did you just fart or did you shit yourself? <laughs> Just oh. shit. Hey, stay. <laughs> oh. In case of uh, everything oh. goes well, you don't have to do positions like that. Uh, it's hot like this wow. in the morning. <laughs> I promise I'm not lying to you. We're going to have a lot of fun. What does that mean? <laughs> you might get injured if you fall. <laughs> That's not salesy. <laughs> I can't believe what just happened because I've seen the risks. They're incredible. It's on display. When you eject, you really do eject. Ah, uh, yeah. It's scary. But he didn't see them. That I saw scary. them. Our session is in an hour. So before we find ourselves in this machine from hell, always pushing the bar far too far for this concept, when I could simply be making reaction videos here, we are discovering what we barely perceived yesterday at 120 kilometers per hour. The official start of the Olympic Games track. Two push pilot boards. Then the pusher gets on board. The track stops over there. After that, it's just piloting. So he's going to have to push it with his shoes? Yes, but not here. <laughs> Why? Because you're at the top of the slope here, and before you can get up, you need a lot of practice. Oh uh, yeah? It's that bad? I'm telling you, we'll talk more when you're done it. Because okay. there are so many gaps between the two departures between where you might be leaving tomorrow and here. You still have to acquire the reflexes and an understanding of what you're doing. Okay, because I was thinking, okay, we'll get there, he'll put a bob on us, and poof, that's it. That innocent face. Puff, that's it, you know? That's what we call unconsciousness. Up until that very moment, I thought we were going to be able to get away from the start like yesterday, but as you've just heard, the coach isn't really keen. There are actually 19 turns on this track. If you manage to get to the end without a hitch, the bobsled reaches a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, except that at that speed, the slightest error means you end up like this. Oh. So, we're going to start gently at turn 12, the start for juniors. If all goes well, then we'll gradually work our way up to the intermediate start at turn number 6. My aim is for you to say, okay, Tristan, you're a good driver. You're off from the start. Let's go. With these words full of hope and positivity, it's time to hit the 1.7 kilometer circuit. Be careful with your shoes because they tend to slip a lot. And obviously with an outfit totally suited to it. I don't mind at all. Entertainment comes first, <laughs> right? Huh? What? Tangai, he said, kill yourself. <laughs> kill yourself, okay, okay? That will get views. We'll see that there are 19 bends. We'll start it at 12. Yes, you're Sadie, slipping, I swear. You? It's just as slippery. Now we're on six. The aim is get up here by tomorrow. Here Thomas explains the course and the specifics of each turn. Buddy, if you thought bobsledding was all about getting on the sleds like you'd get on a funfair ride doing its thing, what can I say? It's a little bit more complex than that. Look ahead in the middle and bring it in slowly. After that, you will get the feeling that it's going to follow you. And when you get to the middle, you will hop, right? Well, I don't understand it either, but at least I pretend to follow, okay? The good thing is that Dilu's a great listener, so now I can count on him in case of problems. So while we go over everything... Oh, shoot! Huh? <clears throat> Sorry, Thomas, I didn't mean to do that. Don't shoot Thomas. Oops. You're like Mr. Freeze. It's okay, but no. Ooh. It's just a slippery. We're starting from number 12, so this will be our start. 
We'll set the bobsled up here. If you want to push, there's a lot of room, so don't... Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> you fly the thing. It's pretty simple to understand what's going on. Like a left It's not turn. that complicated. Don't go right. No, that's the basics. To recap, we'll have a total of nine runs, and not one more, to train from turn 12. If the coach thinks we are good enough, then, and only then, can we hope to start from turn 6. But as you're starting, six bends higher up. You're picking up a lot more speed, so it's a lot riskier in the event of a crash. Far from a sure thing. And what's at stake for me here? If you want to look, you okay, look. Okay, not much. Here we are gently reminded of one of the basics of physics chemistry level 4. That ice is slippery. Even more so on an Olympic bobsleigh I run. got a shot of your butt traveling. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bottom's all wet. Isn't that great? No, go ahead. We're going. <laughs> Tristan. This is Are it. Are we taking all of this down? Hey ho, off to work we go. <laughs> You're already gonna stall at the 12th turn. You'll get the feeling in 12. Yeah, so what do I do now? Not die. You stay behind and yes. do nothing. You will do the job. I love the ball. You know, it's a lot more technical than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a wimp. He's beautiful. <laughs> with your wet butt over there. <laughs> My butt is so cold. Here we are with Thomas himself. Bravo, you took 58 hours. So, uh, what am I good for? Hey, tonight? What? Tonight? Still not? I'm not going to lie to you. He's thrown so much information in my face that I still don't understand the technique. Same. Frankly, I have no idea what to do. Just done a complete lap of the 1.7 kilometers, and it's really slippery. It was a real mess. As you can see, we're not overly dressed for it, but at least we saw it and broke down the turns together. In my mind, it was a giant sled. You get on it, you get on it, and just you orientate your body a bit, and it's going to drive the thing. Not at all, he made me understand that it's the same precision as a Formula One car, so you have to be super smart around the corners. He explained a lot of things to me, but for the recap, you have to stay right in the middle. There are wave turns. You only have to touch the controls at the beginning and at the end of the huge turns. In the middle, you have to let it do its thing. It'll go up, it'll go down. And three, you can't go too high. Basically, we've just seen it in theory. I need to feel it. It's a sports sensation and it's sliding. It's scary. How do you feel? Hey, hey, it'll be yes. good. Are you the pilot? You the know what you're doing. The aim is to progress as quickly as possible right. to start at the very top. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, I must admit I'm a bit deg because I really thought I could start from the very top. So I try to force the ringmaster a bit to start from the start. So there's a world out there. If you're really a bobsledder born in the blood, you'll leave the start after an hour and a half of progress. No. <laughs> Honestly, no. But I think they're a bit too scared of us breaking the Olympic record, and that is why they don't want us to start from the very top. Lies. If they don't want us to, it's mainly so that we don't have, I have to, to do that. I have to impress Thomas. Come on, have a good run. Thank have fun. you, Bruno. Well, after having my whole team fail me at the start, I realized it's going to be a lot more complicated than expected. So just before we attack our first descent, Thomas, I have one last recap, and off we go. Careful with the corners if the turn is small. You just follow with the steering. Release. At the exit, parallel steer again. And you do this on all the big turns. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> I am not ready at all. What we're doing here is serious. Tristan here is stressed out. Look, he's so stressed, he's running. Have you warmed up? This is it. Here we see the big buddy preparing to leave. <laughs> you say big buddy. Decent. Thank you. Come on, Thank big you. buddy. Dad, mom, grandpa, for you, the Olympics. Don't go too far. <laughs> 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 Come on. Are you ready, Dilu? I am, yes. We're doing it, bro. Bob on the track. The junior start is closed. The sleigh is on the ramp. Why did you break 10 seconds later? Oh, no. oh my word. Tongye isn't here. Our mothers are shocked. Oh, the sensation. Oh, wow, it goes so fast. Wow. Scary. Did you think we were going to die? Yes. 
I raised my head once and quickly lowered it again. Oh yeah? Since we've only been able to rent the track for an hour today, we go down, put on the skate guards, load the bob on the track, return to 12, and practice. Ah uh, yes, a lot of things happened. It went by fast. Wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm over it, man. You didn't see anything as far as I'm concerned. It's simple. It was slow at first. But once you get into those turns he was talking about, there's a top speed where you just say to yourself that it's not possible. I didn't even catch the speed. You know that I don't really give a damn about speed. All I thought was, don't die, so I'm like, you move. Of course at I moved. At one point, we went really high. Of course. I screamed. Didn't you hear me? I thought, what am I even doing here right yeah. now? Yeah. This sport is hectic. Nice. Damn, that is a nice new t-shirt. Practice makes Let's perfect. See. We don't have time, bro. What was it like? Do you see Death the Reaper? He's everywhere. I've seen death. Buddies, yell, break. Okay. I didn't hear you. I'm concentrating. My nose, in the middle, parallel. In the middle, three, two, one. Go. In the middle. Middle, aim for the center. Come on. Good, my roof, good. <laughs> it's trying to sink in, but I'm going to need a bit more. Come on, go, 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 go. It's scary from the outside. Inside too, don't worry. Yes, I suppose. And the noise you make hurry, when you hurry, arrive. Hurry. It's not getting warmer. Let's go, let's go. As much as I felt like I was dying at the beginning, I'm doing fine really? now. I'm starting to understand a few things, huh? Did you see? Yeah, I watched it from start to finish. The twists and turns are freaky. It's when you're straight and suddenly oh, you're yeah. horizontal and then you're straight again. Oh, the feeling. I saw the difference between the beginning and the you end. A second. It was smooth. What's the start like? Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah? It sucks. <laughs> Stylish. Why? It's the start. Not fast enough. That's something. Oh, yeah. It's going so fast that for once, my brain normally always understands what's going on, how more or less everything. I really say to myself, I've got to stay in the middle of the bend and try to manage the controls accordingly. You have to let the machine live and not try to control it too much. With controls. Smoother, he said. Come on, we've got this. We do. We must beat 104. Three, two, one, go! What a speed can we expect to achieve in our training from the 12 and the 6? So when you start from 12, the range is between 70 and 80 kilometers, which is already relatively fast. Then going up to the start at turn 6, if all goes well, we'll have a range of between 90 and 105 kilometers. <laughs> what really okay. helped democratize the sport was the film Rasta Rocket, of course. And the PMP video is coming, don't you worry. Well done, Rolf. Well done. Bravo. Let's go. Bravo, and my Rolf. Style. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell does that compare? It's like a ski car. That's right. They look like reindeer. Santa's reindeer, because you've got two reins in your hands. Skates are actually skiing. Now I'm starting to go in the middle of the run about where he tells me. It was too abrupt on the controls. I think I still am, but it's getting smoother and smoother. Stylish. Too stylish. It's great. The feeling is crazy. It's thrilling and scary at the same time. It's the first time I've been in a vehicle. You're sitting down, but you're not strapped in. Nothing. Mm. It's weird not to feel strapped yeah. into something. So you do the same thing, you try to dose a little more on the bottom. When you first head in and touch the walls at 12, is that normal? You have to go straight. If you start off a little crooked, you won't have much range, and then you'll hit the side. Come on! Buddy, right! Hurry, 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 hurry! Nikel! <laughs> Nikel! <laughs> it's good! <laughs> Perfect! Come on. Look at that. For me, 
who's tried all kinds of things, it's really hard to explain this feeling because everything is going on so fast and you don't have any time to really understand what's going on. The idea at the time is just to stay as focused as possible and keep the nose of the bob in the middle of the track. In real life, with the speed of the fear and shaking and jerking, it's really not as easy as it looks. Good, bro, good. 103. Good, man, we did good. We took great, a second. Bro. That's great. Dilu, you gained another second on your time. Incredible. Where's Philippe? 19 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> We're ahead of him? <laughs> it's too stylish. It's great, bro. He's less and less scared, more and more confident. It's awesome. I'm out of breath from it. In terms of shocks, we feel less. It's smoother. It's lighter. I get it. The beginning yeah, was different. That's normal. Better and better. In fact, hey, buddy, the how are you? It's getting better and better. I still make mistakes. That's normal. But I understand what makes it good and how not to smash into the walls. Less is good. The smoother it is, the better you turn. And the more parallel, the better. Right now, I'm still too low in the turns. I'm trying to climb. <laughs> Come on up, bro. I trust oh, you. Okay. What do we do, more or less? We hurry up, go back up, do one, wow. and then it's in between. You let yourself go a little too much over there. That's why you touch the There side. was a moment where I could feel it. Okay, yes. it's fine. We'll debrief afterwards. Come on, it works. Best of luck. The brakes good? All right, give it your best shot. Come on, guys, let's go. Ah, uh, yes. Between the first and third runs, we saw a clear progression, particularly on the more technical sections where I'm standing here, 15 and 16. Then we saw that he was far more in the taut lines, in the held lines. So you can tell he's starting to feel what he's doing. That's ultra important because that's what's going to give us the impetus climb. Don't touch the walls. It's bad. <laughs> the objective is to try to hear as little as possible, to try to be in the middle of the track as much as possible. There is a lot of pressure on us because if we don't manage to get under the one minute mark and keep hitting the walls at every turn, then Thomas won't let us go any higher. So we use the pressure as a channelizer and go into full focus. Softer on the controls. Come on, bro. Push with all your might. I don't eat walls. The sleigh's on the ramp and starting the course. Thoroughly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm fine. I'm fine. All the way to the right. Tuck your head in. We'll go even faster. Hey! The adrenaline it takes is something. Is it physical? Frankly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. If drifting is a sport, this is a sport. Surely. If F1 is a sport, this is a it sport. It warms me up like crazy. I'm getting really hot. Really? <laughs> the that sound? looks scary. The sound is the worst. <laughs> I hear boom, boom. I mean, <laughs> I'm shaking, brother. There's a mix of parachute and car at the same time. It goes too fast all at once, and the dead reaper is never far away. <laughs> oh, You're well. crazy. Okay, we're back at home. We only had an hour, so we could only do five runs. Totally crazy lines. I could feel it's getting better. We've gained like a second, a second and a half, two seconds. But in any case, we're bumping a little less wall, and I feel like I'm less of a jerk with the controls. After that, it's just an impression. Let's see what Thomas thinks. There's been an improvement between one and okay. five. That's clear. At the first, you're discovering what's going on, the feeling and the management of speed. By the fifth, you're wondering, he reacts this way, that way. Right. I can see that you're into research. I've seen on all of your rounds where I've given you a correction where there's action and reaction. In the end, we didn't do an identical one. No, we run. didn't. So that's good because it means that every time I gave yeah. you an instruction, you tried to apply it. What it shows me is that you're comfortable in what you're doing and in control of what you're doing. Starting right now, you're hoping to go to one hikes at 30 kilometers an hour but more. But no, it's huge. That's why I tell you, you really have to get into the bubble of what I'm telling you and do it. Like you did earlier when you don't quite understand, tell me because that's really important. So there's no problem. But please, on the other hand, you shouldn't try to create something <laughs> new. Okay, I right? see, yeah. It's still too low at the turn. We need to get higher. Because if there happens to be something that I see that no needs problem. to be said, I'll tell you. Okay. I never said stop. You're not high enough. Let it go up. Pull the other way. Okay, I didn't. Okay. Above all, don't feel it. Think okay. it. A bad feeling. Bro, don't you have an no investor one. there? No one? Who are you? No sponsors. The new PMP collection is available on practicemakesperfect.com. Check it out. My mother never stopped. Just go for it. 
look at the details. Show There's us. There's a little buddy here multiplying, like, mind you, teaser, preview, and my future buddy tattoos oh, from wow. the video. One tattoo a month for four years. We have a little never stop trying to show you that whatever happens and whatever you do, whether it's bobsling or studying, there will be a time when it's going to piss you off, but you should never stop trying and practice. When you try, beautiful things happen. Practice makes, makes perfect. As a great man once said, when you go to sleep with an itchy, you wake up with a what? <clears throat> with effort comes success. <laughs> Good morning, day two. Sorry, we are oh, in a wow. rush right now. We haven't had time to sit. We did racelet yesterday, not Rasta Rocket. We did not have time, but we're ready to go. Good. So let's talk about trajectories from the new start. Now, you haven't driven on the new part of the track yet, so this is important. You yes, aren't familiar yes. with 6 to 12. You don't yes. know 6 to no. 12, since you're going to come in with more speed on the 12th. You'll have to approach it in the same way you did with the big bends. Don't poop. So don't poop. <laughs> yes, just like the others. Just grab my hands and I will do to you what I would have done. Like this, you see? It's so stylish. Okay, I'm eating the walls and everything, but I'm trying to pull to the right. Now I'm in the middle here, like this to the left. What we've done is so stylish. I just realized I wasn't very good. <laughs> so after realizing that I wasn't really doing what I needed to do, I asked Thomas to show me which trajectories to take. I am slowly getting the hang of it now. And for all the last runs, I was doing the exact opposite of what I needed to do. Uh, okay, okay. Did you see what I wanted to do on no, the left? So what you tried to do, okay. right? Can you see what I'm telling you guys? You see, I always want to go up. Basically, on a right-hand turn, I try to pull a little to the left to get bobsled up on the wall when you shouldn't do that at all. Anyway, the good thing is that today, the progression step wasn't too bad. Do you want to know what I am doing right now? I've created a simulator for myself. <laughs> see, here I am. Left, right. Uh, I can see the bend, but I don't know which way to turn. The news is going too fast, so putting the run there and taking the risks and pretending it's really stylish. Six turns, it's an extra 20 kilometers an hour, guys. Visualization, or mental imagery, is a method of mental preparation based on the fact that your brain doesn't know the difference between an action that's actually happening and one that it manages to imagine. But really, imagine in as much detail as possible. Sound, speed, smell, vision, etc. It sounds silly when you put it like that, but I'll let you read up on the subject and you'll see that there are many Olympic athletes who spend as much time training training physically as they do mentally through visualization, for example. We're starting to visualize, and in truth, it's reassuring as hell. Oof. I can do it! Stay in position. Hold your position. Go on, go ahead. It rocks and everything. It rocks. Okay, I hope I don't screw up. I'm not much use. I'm replaceable. Put a rock in. It's the same thing. On three, One. guys. One, two, uh. three. Are you Pardon? fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> if this kind of concept appeals to you, don't hesitate to smash the blue thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Its support is free. As soon as you can see, we shoot each other, and really, guys, we tend to forget that because for you, by the time I publish the videos already online, so there you go, you know I'm not dead. But at the moment, I'm really thinking, there's a way I'll end up quadriplegic. Turn six is a wall. The truth is, I'm a little freaked out, six, but think? I have to trust him. If I'm stressed out, <laughs> it's no use in the end. Yes, at worst we fall. Strategy is all about... If we fall, what's the strategy? Thomas has to look at us with the same eyes as my Darren did when we got the million. <laughs> Yeah, because now Thomas is going to judge whether or not we have what it takes to get from turn 12 to turn 6. It's simple. On paper, there are only two conditions to be met in order to climb it. Firstly, you have to go under the one minute mark, and two, you have to stop eating all the walls on every descent. With these conditions well imprinted in our little skulls, we set off on our sixth descent. Sit up and practice makes perfect.fr. I have to stop trying to climb on the corners, so I stay a little lower and don't pull on the controls. He said one, two, release. Come on, focus. I'm under a lot of stress too. We don't have much time. We have to be fast. We can't waste a second. Go! Go, go! Let's go, boy! Practice makes perfect. Nice job! Good well job, done. good job! Well done. Visualization really <laughs> yeah, works! It's gone! We lost it! We lost the GoPro! 
We lost the GoPro! The visualization changed everything. Brother, we took two or three seconds. It doesn't scare me anymore. I feel in control. You couldn't see my commands, but now I was 100% in control mm. of what I was doing. I started to get the reflexes. We started late and only have two runs left. That means if I'm good on this run, he might get us off to a better start. Now we'll be able to go under the minute mark. Honestly, going under a minute sounds complicated, but we've just given Dilu the big points. So as Jean-Claude says, you never know what happens. Come on, seventh down, dude. Deal with your head! You never know when a misunderstanding might work out. Yeah! We Let's did it! Let's go! Man. Let's go! Nice job! We did it! Oh, uh, yeah! <laughs> We did it! <laughs> yeah! Break this makes perfect, motherfucker! My grandfather was a champion yes, bobsledder. He actually this experience was. was so he incredible. Really was. Subscribe <laughs> to this channel. Ooh! I feel comfortable. That's what's crazy. I don't. I could do this all day. Give me 20 turns. I'll do 20 runs, big guy. Those two visualization runs in the bobsleigh were like, okay, okay, okay. I swear. It's like I did them. Guys, the power of intention and visualization is crazy stuff. At least now it goes where I want it to go. Progress. Come when on, I saw guys. 58, I honestly said to myself, I what? Know. I couldn't believe it. Neither did I. I said, you made a mistake. <laughs> we both made progress. I automatically follow yeah. you now. I'm sure you didn't even give the push your all. We can do even better. I was stressed. Yeah, but right now, I want you to push it like your life depends on it. Go ahead, go ahead. The feeling Crazy. is incredible. It's like fear and excitement at the same time. And at the same time, the adrenaline of knowing that at any moment, I'm going to turn us around and kill us both. And at the same time, super smooth writing. You told me to do less and less to do better. Less is more. I'm shocked right now, bro. Did you see the score, man? Super bravo. 58. I've captured Crazy. Yeah, well, well done. We're consolidating that. If you do the same, we'll go oh. up, okay? Okay. Hey, Challenge accepted. Are you serious, bro? Come on, man. Challenge accepted. It's all the same. We know how to do it. Let's go. You heard it too. So on let's go ramp. and do it again. Attention, all the descent will commence. <sighs> yes, come on, yes. come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Very good. Very good. Tuck your head in. Tuck it in, tuck it in. I've got tears in my eyes. Well, even though we set out to do the same run as the previous one, in the end, we made even more progress, calling back 28 hundredths of a second. <laughs> this is it. I feel so comfortable. Man, I want to drop everything and become a pro bobsledder. Is that what you wanted, Thomas? Answer me. That's when it clicked for me, thanks to visualization. <laughs> you gained you almost five cleats. seconds with the cleats. I'm feeling better, but it's not taking us yeah, three yeah. seconds either. I think that is totally impossible. I saw you, you went faster too, and between beats you go faster. Both of you, D. Lu, you have an influence on the speed too, yeah. The harder you push, the faster you go, right? Now you're doing 75 kilometers yeah, an hour. Yeah, but now I'm sitting here between my legs. I don't have the flexibility. Dilu, I said stop looking at the landscape. Put your head down, tuck your head in. And now it's Thomas. On the last run, he said you do the same thing to get to six. Oh yes, That's put a lot oh, of yes. pressure on Go, 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 go. Let's go, bro. To everyone's surprise, we just set our best time with almost seven seconds less than our first run. So the challenge is validated and we can move on to the final stage of this PMP, which consists of climbing to turn six, i.e. more speed, more height, more turns, but all above six brand new turns. As a result, Thomas is briefing us on how to handle the speed and that it's going to be scarier, so we don't need to panic. It's going to be impressive, I tell you. We're already gearing up for our first and final run down turn six. Thank you, Thomas. We'll do it for you. See you at the bottom. How did you do this? How did it go? I can tell you that Tristan has never done these turns before. 
the 6 to 12 is unfamiliar to him, but we've only got one chance. I am so proud of my partner, and because we've really pushed our limits, as Alaya would say, we've moved our so boundaries. So we went past now our Now we've boundaries. got the reward. It's our last run. We're late. The guys at the track are letting us have one more run because we've earned it, in quotation marks. There's a lot of pressure on us because we're starting out six bands over, so you can imagine the set buildup. It's in times like these that I feel like telling you, no matter what you do in life, no matter what your trials are, there will always be a moment when life, the universe, will come to trigger you to put you to a little, little test. For me, these moments just serve to show yourself if you really are the person you say you are. So right now, I'm full of fear, stress, and pressure. There's a lot of responsibility on those little shoulders. But anyway, we are here, and we didn't do all of this just Attention, to stop now. All the I'll be quiet, I'll shut command. up. I am visualizing. Wait a minute, give me 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Three, two, yes. one. So we leave, full of fear, full of pressure, but we go. As you can see from the tightness in my face, I am mega focused because this is the moment we've been waiting for since the start of this PMP. And at this speed, there's absolutely no room for error. And then all of a sudden, at that precise moment, I smile because I realize that this is the last of the runs and that we have to make the most of smile, it. Smile, buddy. You can do it, buddy. So like every time I get scared in any PMP, I start smiling, talking to myself, and verbalizing what the little voice in my head is saying. To the right, right! Yes! You'd better believe it's going well so far, because we haven't eaten any walls yet. Now that you know what's going on in my head and understand why I go from mega crisp to mega smile in a second, I'll rewind the descent from the beginning so you can experience it as we did. Come on, let's go! buddy you can do it buddy you can do it come on We made it. It was amazing. <laughs> oh, dear. Dude, I heard you yelling from Where's far away. Where's the record? That's when I spoke to myself. It was the only run where I said, I'm going to verbalize everything that's going on in my head. I was anticipating the turns. The feeling of getting up to speed is both very exciting and gave me the shivers, but at the same time, it calms you down. It keeps you humble. Maybe I'm overestimating myself. Maybe I'm off the mark. And if you start from the beginning, you'll that's kill yourself. So but I feel like if you start from the beginning, you might hit something, but you will come out alive. But light. there it's... Come on, let's go home. Are you hot or not? I trust you completely, bro. I'm like Ace, <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but it's one of the best feelings of my life. Me too, brother. Do bobsleigh. This it's is really an underrated thing. sport, man. It's, it's a like super Formula sport. One downhill on ice. Aren't we bobsledders? Yes. Well done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You only stalled twice. And to bring this video to a fitting close after this great personal victory, what better way than to let our two loving cameramen discover this extraordinary sensation? Just be careful, Kevin. I'm starting to have <laughs> doubts about this, to be honest. What are we even doing, man? I'm going to go to the industrial tribunal one day. You're comfortable. You're yeah, at home. Yeah, I don't mind that we'll see it. It's so great to send your buddies to hell, like knowing that it's 100% for the fun of it. Afterwards, I realized one of them didn't enjoy it as much as the other. See you next week. And thanks again to Babbel for sponsoring this video. For anyone interested, you'll get 50% off of the subscription for life. Just click on the first link in the description.